Hello students, today I am going to start off with the chapter Biotechnology Principles and Processes. We will cover this chapter under the following topics. Introduction of the chapter, Principles of Biotechnology, Tools of Recombinant DNA Technology, Processes of Recombinant DNA Technology. Now the introduction. The term biotechnology was coined by Ereke in 1917 and it is the technological employment of microorganisms, plant cells, animal cells, their components to generate products and services which are useful to human beings. Now we have been using these techniques from ancient time in the form of making curd, uh, fra uh, fermentation of alcohol using yeast for baking cakes and breads. But these processes are e I now are either excluded from biotechnology or all brought under the ambit of old biotechnology. Old biotechnology is the use of natural strains of microorganisms and cell lines for obtaining useful products. But modern biotechnology is the use of genetically modified organisms that is plants and animals in developing the products that are not only obtained in large number but also the products are obtained of various types. Keeping this in mind, the European Federation of Biotechnology has given a definition of biotechnology that encompasses both traditional view and modern molecular biotechnology. And it is defined as the integration of natural science and organisms, cells, parts thereof and molecular analogs for products and services. Now, <clears throat> the origin of modern biotechnology is based on two core techniques, that of genetic engineering and bioprocess engineering which helps in maintenance of sterile environment. Genetic engineering, it is the technique to alter the chemistry or phenotype of genetic material that is DNA and RNA to introduce these into host organisms and thus change the phenotype of the organism. Second, the maintenance of sterile environment. Maintenance of sterile environment in chemical engineering processes to enable growth of only the desired microbe or eukaryotic cells in large quantities for the manufacture of biotechnological products like antibiotics, vaccines, enzymes, etc. Now, development of genetic engineering. See students, in traditional hybridization experiments, used in plants and animals breeding, hybrids came to have both desired and undesired genes. These undesired genes are very difficult to remove. Even the desired genes are not obtained in higher amounts are not, they are exclusive. This drawback has been overcome in biotechnology. Here, the desirable gene or genes are isolated, cloned, and transferred. It is called recombinant DNA technology. See students, just simple introduction of an alien gene into a cell is of no consequence because it would be disintegrated by the cellular enzymatic machinery. It must be able to replicate. Replication or cloning is possible only if an alien gene becomes the part of the chromosome or extra chromosomal DNA which has its origin of replication. 
and this origin of replication is present in plasmids. You remember plasmids are the extra chromosomal self replicating circular segments of DNA found in bacteria. Now two scientists are responsible for this RNA recombinant DNA technology development. Cohen had developed the technique of taking out and reinserting plasmids. Boyer had isolated a couple of restriction enzyme of E. coli. Now both of them combined their techniques and laid the foundation of modern biotechnology. Cohen and Boyer were the first to produce a recombinant DNA by you know uh, first what they did they with the help of restriction enzyme or molecular scissor cut two DNAs at a particular region having complementary sticky ends. The two DNAs were then joined with the help of DNA ligase. The modified plasmid was then transferred into an E. coli bacterium which is related to this Salmonella typhimurium. It could replicate there using the DNA polymerase and nucleotide of the host and form multiple copies. Formation of multiple copies of a particular DNA like that of the antibiotic resistant gene is called cloning and the organism having a new gene or genetic material is called transgenic or genetically modified organism. <clears throat> now, the tools of recombinant DNA technology. Actually, the tools of recombinant DNA technology are, we can say, restriction enzymes, alkaline phosphatase, source of donor DNA, reverse transcriptase and polymerase enzyme including vectors and host organism. Now the first one, restriction endonuclease. Now in 1963, Lynn and Arbour discovered that E. coli is able to protect itself from the attack of bacteriophage with the help of a defense mechanism called the restriction modification system. It has two components, restriction enzyme which is a nucleus which recognizes a particular palindromic sequence and degrades the same. It was called restriction enzyme because it restricted the propagation of bacteriophage in bacterium. Next, the methylase. The enzyme that adds methyl group to a particular palindromic region of bacterial DNA. So, the bacterial en restriction enzyme is unable to harm the bacterial genome. Now, this restriction enzyme is also called restriction endonuclease and the first restriction enzyme that was isolated was HIND2 from Haemophilus influenzae. It was found to cut DNA at particular points having specific sequence of 6 base pairs. Up to now near about 900 restriction enzymes have been isolated from near about 230 strains of bacteria. The enzyme name has the first letter from the bacterial genus, next two letters from the species and the fourth letter from the strain. Now restriction endonucleases are the nuclease enzyme. There are two groups of nucleases, exonuclease and endonuclease. 
exonucleus cleave DNA or RNA molecule from the ends. Endonuclease cut DNA molecule from inside. The restriction endonuclease cut DNA at specific site called recognition sites or recognition sequences. Each restriction enzyme or endonuclease scans the DNA sequence and when it finds this type of you know recognition sequence it sticks to it and cuts it cuts the two strands of DNA of the double helix at specific points. Now the recognition sequence of each restriction enzyme is a 4 to 8 nucleotide long palindromic sequence. In palindromic region the two DNA strands possess the same base pairs but in reverse fashion. Since the restriction enzyme can cut the DNA at specific location, they are also called molecular scissors or chemical scalpels. Now, restriction enzyme on cutting the DNA produces two types of ends. One end or one type of end is known as the staggered or sticky ends, where the complementary base pairs produce short single stranded ends which can join single stranded ends of other DNA fragments. Now the second group of endonuclease cut both the strands of DNA at the same place. So the single stranded pieces are not left on the ends. Ends without single stranded sequences are called blunt ends. Fragments with blunt ends may be used as such or small linkers are sometimes added to the ends of the separation of gene later on. 